to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening. Welcome to the 9 October 2014 Selectman's Meeting. Is there any public comment this evening? And seeing no public comment, Roman 4, Old Business 1, final review of 2015, Budget Alpha Legal, Esquire. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, tonight I will uh, review the few uh, changes that are uh, being proposed to the budget that was presented to you last on September 11, 2014. Uh, under the uh, legal department, which is 4153, uh, regular wages uh, have been reduced by the amount of the proposed salary for the Assistant Town Attorney Human Resources Coordinator, uh, Wanda Robertson. Um, my understanding being that the board has uh, plans in mind for a human resources capacity that would be under another line item. Uh, under part-time wages, uh, which is the second line, um, I'm proposing an increase in the hours from 16 to 20 of the part-time person at uh, $16 an hour. And so the amount you see there of $16,640 reflects that. That does not have any benefits or, um, or uh, retirement uh, obligations other than uh, some... Uh, leave time uh, proportionately. And so uh, those are the, uh, the other changes under staff development. That figure, which was proposed to be um, $1,500 initially, has been cut in half to 750 in light of the not having an assistant town attorney with those uh, continuing legal education obligations. And um, under supplies and expenses, uh, we have deducted $785 which would reflect the bar dues for both Massachusetts and New Hampshire that the assistant town attorney had. Uh, so those are the changes on the first page. Uh, on the uh, last page, 25, uh, over last year's budget, we had a significant decrease in the outside in the um, collective bargaining costs and also in the other uh, labor costs and those reductions are uh, being retained in light of the board's um, uh, plan regarding uh, human resources capacity in another line item. So that is the, uh, those are the, the, the uh, presentation uh, to supplement that which was made September 11th. Thank you, sir. Selectman Wilson. Uh, no questions. Thank you. Selectman Griffin. No, thank you. Selectman Griffin. No, thank you. No. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I have no questions or motion. And so the uh, bottom line figure, uh, Mr. Chairman, for this line uh, is uh, now uh, $186,364, which is a 21.87% reduction. I'll move that. I'll second it. All those in favor? Unanimous. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, you. sir. Mr. Chairman, we uh, need the recreation so she can. Yes, we do room. indeed. Rec. Please, Director. Oops. Thank you for letting Welcome me come director. in. Welcome, Director. Fly in and fly out. Um, Page 129. Thank you. I only had a couple changes to um, the Parks and Rec budget. And these are both things that I talked about at the last meeting. But I had originally put in a higher salary for Renee. Is I would like to change his. I would also like to change his title to assistant director, as he already takes on those type of responsibilities in our office, and he has been for many years. And the figure that I gave last time here was a nine percent raise, and with that, um, if you deem that we can change his title to mirror his responsibilities, I took. I did take money out of the overtime account, as I assumed that he would then be a salaried employee again, as opposed to the hourly employee that he is now. So the percent raise that he would be getting in total would be 3,686. But if it would be starting in April, if the budget passes, it would be 2,765. 
The other item that I added was $2,500 to go to the National Recreation Parks Director School. It's a two-year school, and I attended um, year one this year on monies that I was able to get through scholarships. <coughs> Unfortunately, I'm not eligible to ask those same organizations again next year. So the total that I would be asking for over the town manager's budget is $5,265. Selectman so Wolsey. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out where I am here. That last. Can I come back to you? Yeah, just give me a page reference, Diana. Where? Let me see. I think they said it was 129. 129 is, that what is the beginning of 529. 129 is the beginning. I'm trying right. to do the to the. It, is that the total that you're giving us for Rec and Parks? The total of. Because I've got 298,939 on page 134. Yeah. Did you That's the total budget, I okay. think, and this is um, fi uh, five thousand two hundred sixty-five above that. Would be something that I had added. It had come out, and I um, talked about it with you last time. I'm just trying to figure out what page. Your, your submitted budget was two hundred ninety-eight thousand five hundred nine hundred thirty-nine dollars. The recommended was two hundred seventy-two thousand nine hundred thirty-four dollars. Okay, so you're adding five thousand dollars to the twenty-seven. Two, yes. Correct. Five thousand what? Five thousand two hundred and sixty-five. Two five. Sorry. For an exact total, please. Oh, poor Christy. For the whole whole budget. Yeah. Okay. Selectman Griffin, do you have any questions? No. Selectman Wright. No, I think. Uh, well. Uh, just a comment that I think uh, this department brings in a lot of money over the year. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they precise. Uh -huh. They generated uh, in 2014 thus far $575,165. And that isn't done by accident. That's done by great programming. And it doesn't happen with just, I know Diana does a lot of good work, but Thanks. it's not just Diana that does it. I know Renee does a lot of that too. And uh, I have no problem with this uh, increase. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll come back to you, Select Mosey. Select Modell. With, with, with the revenue they bring in, yeah. I, don't, I don't see any problem. Thank you. I don't have any questions. Uh, a, a final budget figure, do we? Uh, two, 269,221. I'll two, move that. Two, two, Was that? Wait, two, six, that, nine, that two, can't two, be one. right, can no. it? That can't be right. Didn't you say that? It doesn't sound right. Twenty-seven. You said it was two hundred and seventy something, right? Two seventy-two nine thirty-four. No. Plus five two six five. Oh oh, she's she's got okay. Could the we total have, for recreation and parks is that's in front of you right now is two hundred and sixty-three thousand nine fifty-six. Okay. Roger. And you wanted to add twenty-five hundred to the staff development line. Correct. And you wanted to add 2,764 48. Correct. Okay, it's 269 221. That's what I had. That's the figure That's you what gave. I said 269 221, yep. And I'll move that. I'll second it. All those in favor? Unanimous. Which page? Uh, Could we invite like Christy up instead of balancing the book on her lap? Please, grab a, yes, please. Grab a seat. I mean, do you also want to talk parking lots real quick, too? Parking lots. Like Parking lots is done. Parking lots was approved. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Director. Thank you very much, everyone. I appreciate You're it. You're finished. Bravo, <laughs> Department of Public Works. Please. Your budget is finished. Thank you. Right. Right. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Public Works starts at page number ninety-one. Oh my. Director, the floor is yours. So I'm not sure where we stand right now. I gave the presentation a couple of weeks ago and went over um, recommend my recommendations as well as the town manager's recommendations. So um, thank you. Selectman Wilson, questions? Well, I just want to be reassured. We don't have the funds for Fairfield, Belmont, whatever in the budget, but the grant that Fred referenced 
means that we will have funds out of that grant. Yes, ma'am. So we don't have to go scrambling for lines in here to put the money in. Right now, there is uh, the budget mm -hmm. committee two years ago removed all the paving money from the budget. Right. right. Um, so what I did is in order to find a way to get the paving done, we have an almost $300,000 annual grant from the state uh, that deals with the maintenance of Class 5 highways. Okay. So I took $200,000 of that and earmarked it in a warrant article, that revenue. Uh, that will do $100,000 for those three streets that have been waiting to be done, and then theoretically we can add three more streets to it. Okay. And it won't be raised from taxes because it's going to come from state revenue. Yeah. Amazing. And, and we get this every year? We get this every year. The money's the money is designed uh, under the under the statute to uh, work on Class Five highways, but the money has been being used to decrease general taxation in the town for everything. It has been in the past, and that's yeah, just a general revenue. Mm. Selectman Wilson, further questions? Well, we could either put the money for paving in the budget and then use that grant as an offset. Or be cleaner in a warrant article because you'd have to amend the budget. The budget article would run on. Okay. I just want to make sure we get that paving done. Oh, I do too. Yeah. Okay. Further questions? Where are we still in highways? Because we got sanitation here. Yeah. Highways run from 91. Yeah, I got. Uh, it ends with sanitation at uh, 119. That's the total department of budget. Okay. I, I just wanted to ask about the rolling stock, and I don't have an updated list. I have one dated September 2013. The new, this, the new vehicles, I think three, that you want to yes. buy in the Warren article? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're getting rid of what, or we're replacing what by getting the new ones. I've got my list here. I should be able to. Is this under the budget or is this under warrant articles? Um, well, it's partly under the budget because this rolling stock is. Well, it, you're talking about the, the purchase of vehicles, and that is well, is I'm that in your budget, Director? Talking about replacing. No, it's not. Okay, let's oh, can, right. can, can we'll we please stick to the, the, the budget? Article. Thank you. Okay, ignore me. So definitely that road, Belmont, Circle, and whatever the others were, are going to be done. And is there going to be a warrant article with it? or There'll be a warrant article uh, allocating $200,000 for of paving, that. and $100,000 of that will be for those three streets. Okay, great. Thank you. That being the and money a, from the grant. It's a no-tax-raising warrant article. It's a revenue article. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Mr. Bridal. And how much money do we get from the... Two sixty. Let's say two sixty nine. Probably have to put the whole thing in. Well, I'm leaving a little bit there in revenue. I figure if we take two hundred thousand dollars a year, that could be as many as six streets, depending on which streets they are, huh. as far as paving and repair is concerned. And that's six streets more than we're doing now. Ah. Yes, I understand that, but it's for so many years we haven't done any streets. I know. And I, you know, if, if that money comes from the state to do that, we can put the whole thing in. I mean, the Warren Ocker just needs to be changed with two figures. Yeah. You know, that that's my only concern is that money is is given up back to us by the state. Yes. And the very few funds that we get from the state. Yeah. Um, that's correct. And it should be used for for what it is given back for. Absolutely. And it will increase because the increase in the gas tax has a bearing on that account starting in 2016. Uh, our roads. <clears throat> Our roads are terrible. Yep. They're atrocious. Yep. And, Good. you know, we talked about Exeter Road the other night. Yep. And we have a lot more roads in town besides Exeter Road. And I think if that money's coming back from the state, I think we ought to use what it's intended to do. We can so. change the warrant article in just a okay. flash. Sorry we're on warrant articles, but... <laughs> <laughs> so. Further questions? That's it. Thank Select you. Modell. So, so the final figure we're talking about is what 119. You were, you're all the way over. Into That's what I'm just wondering. The what final figure for Public Works is uh, $5,542,146. Right, which is a 9.52 increase? Yep. Yes. Okay. Christy, do that one more time. Uh, $5,542,146. <clears throat> 146. Okay. 
I have no further questions. There's a motion. I'll move that we accept the budget. Second. All those in favor? Unanimous. Director, thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Enjoy this. It's the shortest visit you've ever had. Well, the police department. Gentlemen, please. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I think the, um, the budget you have in front of you will reflect one change that was uh, since our last meeting. We discovered a spreadsheet error that uh, Christy and I discovered in our versions that had gone through. So there is an increase in that number from our last discussion, uh, but it, it is not new money. That's a spreadsheet error on uh, the salaries that were in there that uh, was about 80000 off. Mm -hmm. It was, uh, yeah. Where Big calculation. Looking? It's in the um, crime control regular wages account. Eek. So it's okay. that 3110 account. Page 47 is 47. Oh, right there. Okay. Crime control. Other than that, the budget remains precisely what we discussed previously. Thank you, sir. Selectman Woolsey, questions? I uh, just, Christy, the figure you just gave us, is that what, is that just for the 2342102 account? That was where the increase was. The third, uh, 102, 1100 regular wages, yes. That's where the uh, formula error was. Okay. Okay. So your bottom line, Christy, is? The bottom line is 4102612 that's on page 65. Right. 65. Wait a second. What What's the change from last year? It's up 6.82%. Uh, okay, 4 million. Looks like a difference of 262,000. Sounds about right from last year. <coughs> That's about right, yeah. 262. 4102,612. Uh, that's, I'm just trying to digest the figure here. So I've got a total here of 4,116,970. So that's out of date. Yes. Or something that's gone, right? Yep. Yes. Okay. So you had a 4.73% increase on the original figure. So this is going to be less than that, a little bit. This is 6.82%. From what was reflected that you saw last time okay. when we found the spreadsheet error. Okay. I do regret that we're not able to fund at least two additional officers. That's it. Selectman Griffin. No, thank you for your work on this budget. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Selectman Wright. All set. Thank you. Selectman Woodell. Yeah, my only question is I had it last time and I know you explained it and I'm just, you know, the, the huge increase in the training and recruitment right. from 16,000 to 41,000. I just. The training recruit, uh, no, there was a bigger account actually. I think it's the 90,000 account that went up to there. Are a couple of training accounts, Jim, okay. Joe, in total. Mm -hmm. We talked about the need of we're doing the basic required training. We have to keep increasing that. And one of the challenges we're seeing is we have more turnover with retirements. Our officers that get hired that start building that early and mid year, mid career, there are, there are classes we need to send them to to keep their skill set growing. It's something that we hadn't seen a lot with a very stable workforce. It's training is something that's a, an investment for us. It's a risk management tool for us. But a lot of that it ties into new people going to the academy. That's not necessarily a line item we had before, but it's also those mid-career guys that are in here now from three to seven years, developing them into the detectives, into the specialty areas that require additional specialized schooling. So, so it, it's a necessary. Absolutely. Absolutely. And again, I'll, I'll be the first one to tell you, I've, I've always been an advocate of more training, more training, more training. It's an excellent risk management tool. Uh, most of our training that we do, and I have, we think we have a very excellent training program, we do a lot of the baseline stuff, but we have to continue to develop our, our officers to better serve our community. Selectman Wilson. One quick follow-up. Training pays you back because you're not being sued. Well, we hope that's the case, yes. That is exactly the risk management tool of investing in that in all of our training. Is there a motion? I'll so move that we accept the police department. I'll second it. All those in favor? Unanimous. Gentlemen, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Charlie, fired. Fire department begins on page 67. 67. All those police. And it runs through page 84. 
Yeah. Christy, you got a final figure. I do. The ones in your book do not re uh, reflect the change that the Board of Selectmen made on uh, Monday. Right. Uh, when they reinstated the fire inspector position. Uh, so the right. actual budget uh, is three million five hundred and fifteen thousand three hundred and seventeen. Three one seven. No three. Yeah, three one seven. Again. Yep. Three five one five three one seven. Yeah. Right. Okay. Selectman Wilson, questions. No. Once again, I regret the short staffing in this department. Other than that, I have no problem with the budget as presented. Selectman Griffin. Thank you. Selectman Brown. No, I think the staffing that is there is what the chief has asked for. I may not agree with it, but that's what he's how they want to run their department, and we'll move forward. Selectman Waddell. Good time. A motion, please. I'm going to move that we move the three five one five three one seven. Second. Bridal Griffin. All those in favor? Unanimous. Thank you, Mr. Welch. Mr. Chairman, uh, town manager's account, uh, page one. <laughs> and Christy, you, you have a, uh, I guess so many figures over here that I just want to make manager, sure. Yeah, the total for the town. Um, for a Wait a minute here. So rank has its privileges. They get you on page one. Look at that. <coughs> right under you. You guys are first. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, the total for the town manager section of the budget is $252,983. Two, five, two, nine, eight, three. Yeah. That budget reflects um, continued normal operations with two changes. Uh, one, uh, the board has voted uh, to hire an assistant town manager, human resources officer, um, who will be um, working without benefits. It's a part-time position, 32 hours a week. Uh, and uh, because of the increase in staff on that side, uh, they voted to move the uh, administrative assistant, who is now working 35 hours a week, to a 40-hour position. Uh, and give her a 5% pay increase, reflecting the fact that she's going to have a double workload. Um, that position will also pick up uh, all of the preparation for the development of and uh, the preliminary uh, pre preparation for all bid documents in the town. Uh, those still have to go to town council for approval. Uh, but she'll be doing all of that work in addition to the work she's doing now, plus the town reports, plus managing both the town manager and the assistant town manager approved by the board. Thank you. Selectman Wilson, questions? No, thank you. Selectman Griffin? No. <coughs> thank Blair. you. I'll set it this time. Selectman Waddell? I'll set it this time. And just uh, 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 an, an amplification, this uh, expansion of the human resource uh, personnel is also expanded to the assistant town manager and is there a net or a plus up on the cost replacing that the both changes represent a um, a decrease of five thousand dollars in the general appropriation of the town thank you very much a motion i'll move it we move it second two five two nine eight three is that second. that's the figure two five two nine eight three okay a second mr waddell all those in favor unanimous Thank you, now, sir. When are we going to talk about that? About who is going to be the take this position? I think probably just as soon as we get finished with insurance and personnel administration. Under closing comments, comments okay. if, we, if we may. Thank you. Uh, golf insurance. Oops. Page. Back of the the golf simply because you have to have the insurance or you didn't all four. And is that Mr. Welch's pleasure or is that finance pleasure? It's on page uh, 39. Thank you. I haven't gotten there yet. Um, I found out today that the hopefully the health insurance rates will be set on October 22nd. Uh, um, that is when they are meeting. There's no guarantee that they'll set the rates, but that tends to be the past practice, that they will set them at that meeting um, when they discuss them. So I shall find out a few days after that. So that number 
has a chance of changing, but at this point we need to pass this section of the budget so that we can make the um, books for the budget committee. So I have a total of uh, $3,872,702. And Mr. Chairman, if I can interject here, I did meet with two representatives from the Health Trust, and uh, what they told me was that Hampton has one of the very best use rates <coughs> as far as being low in the Health Trust field mm -hmm. for all the cities and towns in the state. So they're doing. So I'm more. looking for a smaller increase in this budget than we had originally estimated for. I know that when we've looked into that in the past, it's very interesting to see how they set it, and uh, it looks like the people, the work. Our workers here in Hampton have always have used discretion for a number of years. They have. Yeah. Thank you. Selectman Wilsey, questions on insurance for the town manager or finance director? No, oh, thank you. It's uh, exciting enough looking at the figures. Thank you, ma'am. Sir. Thank you. Sir. All set. Sir. That's something we have no control over, right? right. Uh, in essence, no. <laughs> they we don't. Um, I mean, we have control over it. As you said, the usage. I guess collectively we do because it's based upon experience, and the experience of the town of Hampton is very good. It's very low, uh, and they express that to me. So I'm. We have a seven percent projected increase in here. That's what we have in the budget. Yes. And we're looking for something lower than that. Uh, okay. A motion for three eight seven two seven zero two. I'll move that. Second. Griffin Woolsey. All those in favor? Unanimous. Hotel Personnel Administration. Yeah. Going backwards, yeah. Twenty seven. Yep. Page twenty seven. Okay. <clears throat> this budget will change. Um a little because of the change that was just made to the recreation uh, regular wage line so I would ask that um, when we vote on this budget we don't include an amount in the motion okay so that I can make that change tomorrow mm -hmm. and then um, does this also include the fire too the fire um, change that you guys made on Monday is actually already in my number. Okay. Okay. Um, but good. with those regular wages, it's going to be a small change. It was only $2,674. So it won't be a large change, but I'd rather go up and do it on the computer and on mm -hmm. the large adding machine okay. instead of giving you guys a number right now. Because right. okay. um, the retirement is split next year. We have uh, six months at the old rate and six months at the new rate. So Very good. for Thank less you. chance of error. Thank that you. Way. Selectman Wolsey. No, thank you. Thank you so much, nope. Christy, for what you're doing. It's like Modell. Again, this is something. This one you probably have less control over. Less control over. <laughs> <laughs> Health insurance and stuff. But. And so uh, a mo you've got the figure uh, currently 2975-295. Uh, a motion is appropriate, or do we stand by for that okay. until the follow-on meeting? Well, I believe this is the last meeting that you're going to have before the budget books have to go to the budget committee. Yeah. So I think if we could make a motion on it at least so that I can add it to the Board of Selectmen column. Then a motion would be to uh, incorporate the, the, the most recent sh personnel changes mm -hmm. uh, subsequent to the uh, figure of 2975-295, and you will apprise uh, the selectmen and make that yes. information public. Excellent. I'll so move. Second. Those in favor? Unanimous. Good. Thank you. Roman 5, closing comments. Director, thank you very much. I'm just making sure we got them Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 just one last check. Well, what if he said we didn't review it properly? So. And you had some remarks under closing comments, Mr. Welch. I did, sir. Um, I now 
Health of the Board had previously approved uh, this evening, as a matter of fact, um, the hiring of an assistant town manager, human resource director, to replace the assistant town council human resources director. Uh, that position will become available on November 1st, 2014. Um, it is a part-time position that's 32 hours a week. Uh, there are no benefits. Uh, so all those benefits that were currently in the budget, including a four-person health insurance plan, are gone. Um, effective November 1st, um, Mr. James B. Sullivan will be the Assistant Town Manager, Human Resources Director. Chief Sullivan, could I ask that you come up and sit at the, uh, the desk, please, sir? In, in addition to those duties, he's going to be assisting in all the other things that town managers do. Um, he and I have already discussed a, a lengthy, <laughs> shoulder-length uh, set of requirements that, that uh, need to be done over the next few months and next year. Uh, so he's going to be working, and, and he's also going to be the acting town manager uh, between now and the 1st of November when I go into surgery on the 21st. So uh, I think that's important to, to make note, and the board needs to vote to approve that th this evening. Um, <clears throat> with that, I think that, that kind of gives the broad brush approach to this. Uh, I just wanted to make plain that there are no benefits here. Um, and the, the salary is $81,036, which is substantially less than what we were paying out in town, assistant town council. Um, when you take that into consideration, plus the uh, change that they've made in the administrative assistant, the net in, in salary is a $5,000 return to the taxpayers. It's actually $5,000 less going to be spent on these two salaries that was being sent on one salary. Um, and that does not include uh, the health insurance benefits and, and some of the other benefits that, that will not be uh, uh, ignored here to, uh, to the use of the assistant town manager. Thank you. And could you expound on the uh, vote that was taken in those minutes? The vote was taken this evening. It was a unanimous vote of the Board of Selectmen. Uh, and the Board voted, uh, and we'll have to go find them all, voted to declassify all minutes pertaining to this matter. So, Thank you. Mr. Sullivan, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And, and uh, I, I want to thank the Board and the manager for expressing the confidence in me. I'm, I'm honored to be able to take on this new role. Um, obviously, we'll be announcing my retirement tonight uh, from my role as chief of police, which is a bittersweet part of, of this. I'm looking forward to the, the new challenge, um, uh, but leaving behind, uh, uh, you know, a department with fine men and women that I've had the pleasure to serve and and uh, serve with for uh, about 30 years now. Um, so that has uh, been an interesting part of this process has gone forward as I've looked at, at that. Uh, in my service to the town. I'm, I'm thrilled that I'm going to be able to continue to serve the town and I think I'll I hope I'll add value and I appreciate your confidence in in uh, me and being able to do it. Thank you, so, sir. Thank and you. just quickly around the board, Selectman Wolseley, comments for the new assistant town manager? We're going to make you work hard. It's, it's, <laughs> I'm used to that. We appreciate your expertise, Jamie. Thank you very much. Well, yeah, I'm one of the people that um, as in my previous term when I was selectman, um, when we had uh, these HR matters come up, I really didn't believe that we needed a full-time HR person. But as we're seeing uh, even right at the moment, we have issues. And it's nice to know that we have uh, somebody with your qualifications. And I think it's just a great thing. And I think it's uh, wonderful that we can keep someone that has a long history of working here in Hampton and everything that you bring with that. So thank congratulations you. and thank you. Thank you, sir. No, welcome aboard. Two hottest days of a police officer as a firefighter, the day, the day they walk in the job and the day they walk out. And uh, yeah. you've served this town well and you will continue to serve this town well. Thank you so much. Yeah, I think it's a net positive for the town. I mean, since we're saving on the benefits, we're saving on the salary, <coughs> putting some money back into the into the general fund and we're getting somebody with a lot of experience who can move right into the job without any training or any uh, uh, getting to know Hampton. So I, I think it's a net positive all, all around and I, I think it's a good deal. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Chief, thanks for your past leadership and we're, we're so delighted that you're staying on board. Good night and thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Um,
sign those and we need to vote to authorize uh, I will move Mr. Sullivan to act as Chief Sullivan to serve as acting manager in Mr. Welch's absence from the 21st of uh, October uh, until Mr. Welch returns. Thank you. I second it. We'll see Waddell. All those in favor? Unanimous. Any other housekeeping, Mr. Welch? Can, can, no. Yes, sir. I just have a question. You know, on the budget for that we just did. Sir. The increase total percent. Yeah, okay. But what I'm saying is, how much of that is the, the insurance and the retirement? How much of that is beyond our control? Or what percent? Wait a second. I got little pieces of paper here. Oh. Got a little. You know, I don't want to mess you up, but I, just, no. I, just, I think that's important to say to the people, you know what? Exactly. The increases in health and property liability or workers' compensation and retirement that we have to absorb in this year's budget, without question, is $375,278. Uh, the increases in wages and part-time wage benefits under union contracts, which is going to affect this coming year, is $587,083. Both of those we have to pay. Uh, we've all heard about the electric charges. There's another $61,805 of current use rates, rates that we're going to have to absorb. Uh, and then there are various categories within the public works, <coughs> fire department, and police department budgets uh, that total up to $926,369, over which we really don't have any control. So we're talking about $1.9 million out of this budget that we really don't have any control over. Okay. And the whole budget's going up about? Uh, 7%. 7 percent. Seven and seven point almost 7.25 percent that go. comes out to almost Thank what you, percentage of that I, I I will tell you this is that those those uh, uh, costs that we have no control over are 63 percent of the uh, um, uh, DPW fire and police budget increases okay. so it's 8.39 it's, percent is a change of with those figures. yeah so it's yeah. it's huge and and uh, Selectman Rodell and I were up at uh, the New Hampshire Municipal Association this week, and we were specifically addressing those issues. Those are the ones that are, are dragging us down, and they'll be coming down on board um, to uh, brief us further on those specific instances. And uh, Selectman Rodell did a fa fabulous job, and of course, like Rusty, he's a former legislator, and he's got uh, key contacts up there to work those issues. Did you guys discuss the lack of funding for the retirement system by the state? That exactly that, and the health insurance issue, and uh, um, our next tariff settlement issue. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Good. Thank Pollution you. Pollution control. Yes, ma'am. Excellent. Yes, ma'am. Rick is making his move. A motion. <laughs> A motion to adjourn. At seven thirty-eight. Uh, seven thirty-eight. Waddell, Bridal. All those in favor, unanimous. Yeah. Right. Thank you. I did have a part. Yes, you said that last yeah. week. I just yeah. want to make sure it held for the